Welcome to Gamer Ability. I'm your host Six Penny, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 video. So the developers pushed out another server side update yesterday. Uh, this means that you have nothing to download, but it was changes made on the server that again changed the whole swinging mechanics a little bit more, especially on slows, fast and the short game, particularly splashes. So I'm gonna show you what's been changed in this video and talk about kind of my thoughts on it towards the end. But the tweet said, we have pushed out a small update that tunes slow swings and makes minor adjustments to fall off distances when not swinging with good tempo. In other words, now, so before, if you remember, even with this new update, if you were barely outside of that gray forgiveness area here on the right side of the screen, you did not get a big fall off. But now, anything off here, off the gray, has a pretty, not a significant, but it's more significant than before. And the further you move down towards the left, the very fast, the more penalizing it is. Now before, a red slow would not take off any distance. So now in the update, it makes sense that the slow is now penalized. So as you move outside this gray area, you're gonna start to see a big penalty. I'm gonna show that right now. So let's try, I'm gonna try to do a slight red fast if I can actually do it, right? So there's the slight red fast. So look what this is gonna carry. So that's 241. Before that one probably would have carried about 260, 270, even with the last tuning change here. So now, let me try to do a more significant fast here. Not really very significant fast. It's actually just, it's like an identical swing, right? But still, you can see it was blended the same, 242. Now we'll try to hit an actual super red fast. Have it hit one in a while. So there we go. So there's a very fast. Look at that duck hook. 187. 187 gamer so a big change you're really penalized for moving into that red fast zone so now let's hit a slow and let me show you what a slow does apparently i cannot hit a slow no i definitely can because they come in the rounds all the time so you can see perfect 333 there's the slow so before this slight red slow would have flown about 300 yards. So that went 262. So let me try to do a very slow. <laughs> well, so my swing plane, that's what happens. Whenever I try to do a very slow, my swing plane is terrible. But you saw 230, 242. So before, you were not really getting penalized for those slows at all. So I think that's, I think the slow, I think that's a good change. Because you can't change, to me, you can't change the fast mechanic and penalize fast but then don't penalize slows because people are just going to start going for slows. You know, the game is try they're trying to encourage you to hit that perfect, that perfect or gray fast window. Because if you get a gray fast, we'll try to, let's see if we can get a gray fast drive here. Okay, there's a gray slow. So let's see, so basically what I found, anything in the white forgiveness area or grave forgiveness area, anything within here is gonna fly that 295. You you don't really have, before if you did a slight gray fast, you'd get a little bit, it'd fly a little bit further. Slow would fly a little bit less. Now, if you're in this area, to me that's a good thing, uh, that if you're in this area, you're not gonna have the distance takeoff. Now it may veer, if you're in the little slight gray, you're gonna get a little towards the, more to the left. You're gonna pull it and you're gonna push it if it's a little on the slow side of gray. Okay, so let's try to get a slow here with the six iron to show you an iron. So there is the very slow. It was supposed to fly 161. It flew 129. Before, if you hit a very fast or very, you know, very slow, you were not, you were penalized a little bit, but not very much from hitting a splash shot. Now, you know, keep in mind, splash shots, I, me, 
they're designed for the bunker just in golf they're designed for the bunker they should not be easy off the fairway so this is a change the splash change i think is a really good change and that's because i you know if we talk about having a simulation game or non-simulation game on higher difficulty levels in the game such as when you get up to master difficulty and beyond if you miss a splash shot if you try to hit a splash shot from the fairway it should be really hard and if you miss that shot it should be very punishing so let's take a look at the very slow here so let's that was slight slow 12 yards not a big drop off but let me show you we'll try to get a an actual very slow here let me pull out keep in mind this is in the fairway as well so let's do a very slow that's a 176 very slow, but I mean a 76% very slow, but you see the distance? So let's try this again. 100 power very slow was a four yard carry. And then now let's do a very fast if we can. The pretty significant fast took off 10 yards. If I was to do a very, very fast, it would take off even more than that. Now let's do a slight fast here. So 16 yards. So a slight slow, basically carried where it needed to. Nothing big there, but I'm gonna try to do a little more on the fast side. So there it is. 12 yards, 13 yards, not a big deficit on a slight red fast on the splash. What's really penalizing though, is say you find yourself in the rough or bunker, and then you hit a slow out of the bunker, which we do from time to time. Before it wasn't a big deal, but now watch this. Very slow just puts us right back in the bunker. <laughs> Which is what my shot would do in real life, but slight slow does it. So it really penalizes the splash shots, the very fast or very slow. It still penalizes a slight fast, like look at that. That was a pretty, that was a moderate fast is what I would call that, but let's do a slight fast right there. Not a big penalty. So I mean, the further you go off that middle forgiveness area, I'm going to consider this whole area in the middle the perfect area. The white center is the perfect, perfect area. Then we have, let's call this the gray area, the perfect normal area. And then anything out that is not good. You don't want it. So now for my final closing thoughts really on this update. I, when we think about this, think about the way it was before. If you played the game on Pro Elm, versus on legend you could hit the very fast and use that to where the difficulty does not really matter if that makes sense it matters in other parts such as the power bar and those things so yeah that does change the game but we're just talking about the swing mechanics with the fast mechanic the way it was the difficulty the difficulty did not matter as much but now, when we talk about the difference between Legend, Master, compared to Pro Elm and Lower, just talking about this tempo and forgiveness area, there is a huge difference now, because you cannot just go to Legend now and hit very fast and try to get that even or better challenge. So to me, it separates the difficulty levels. The difficulty levels matter now because the if you if you're struggling on master instead of just playing for the fast when you're struggling now you can just lower the difficulty to pro and have more forgiveness and I think this makes pro difficulty a lot more fun I just wish the matchmaking did not have putt previews and you could turn the power bar off and distance control assist could be turned off to me when you play a game on higher difficulty settings, when we get to Master or Legend, that is top tier. If you miss a shot on top tier difficulty settings, the game should penalize it. So I think it's better to not be able to negate the difficulty settings by hitting a fast or slow. So now the, I, I think the game should have been like this in the first place. I'm surprised it actually took this long, but I think this is them doing a little testing before the next game comes out. They're pushing these updates at, towards the end of this game cycle. I don't think they're pushing these updates to get new players in. They're pushing them to test them. They're seeing how these mechanics, how does the community respond? 
does this make a better gaming experience? And they'll use that as they decide on the swing mechanics for their next game. But to me, I think it is a sol- I, I like the update. I, I I do not like the way they release the update by not there's no announcements there's you know there's that their twitter post but it doesn't really tell anything like what changed what were the specific changes i would like some better communication for the patch some patch notes but you're seeing actually a lot of games move away from patch notes nowadays so i mean you know it's not it's and i've been playing this game since this series since 2014 and you know they've never released a patch notes but i've played other games that don't release patch notes either so i mean it's gonna happen but say somebody turns on the game they haven't played in a while and they turn it on and just like why in the world am i hitting these slows and fast you know did the swing change and they don't go to youtube or google or something like that and they will probably turn off the game pretty quickly because it would just be like I'm just terrible at this game <laughs> like wait this is the same game I played six months ago when really it's a completely new game um, so that's kind of that's that's my thoughts here let me know down in the comment sections what you think about this change what would you like to see in this game in the future what is your wish list for 2K22, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2K22, or 2K23, whenever, you know, whenever it comes out? You got some enjoyment out of this video, drop a like before you go. I would greatly appreciate it. I post content for a lot of content for PGA Tour 2K21 and really all things gaming, but lately we've been playing a lot of it will be the show as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the news for the, the new Tiger Woods 2K game and the new EA Sports Golf game, and all the other new games coming out as well. You all are awesome. Thank you for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. As always, have a fantastic day.